My name is uh, Roland Kent. I'm a senior ecologist with CIFOR ICRAF and uh, wanted to briefly introduce some of the tools that we have for species selection. Now, one of those tools you can see behind me, now, it is an interactive vegetation map that covers the whole of Africa and it allows users to select indigenous tree species for a variety of purposes, now, including different products and services. And later in this session, we will be demonstrating the Africa Tree Finder, which is a mobile phone app that we developed for relatively simple and, and uh, affordable smartphones available in East Africa. And it's an easy to use app, also used to select uh, tree species. And on the website that is accompanying this event, you will find a larger range of uh, databases, apps and maps that people can use to select suitable species, what we call the right tree for the right place. Africa Tree Finder is a data dissemination app to deliver information regarding potential natural vegetation based on users' location. The app is released in Kenya and Uganda. When the app starts, user sees potential natural vegetation map, the one they have downloaded after installing the app. Users need to press GPS option to identify location on the map. Once GPS gets fixed location, users can proceed by zooming in on the map to see their location. The next step is to see the type of vegetation available on user's location. On this screen, users need to select the purpose of planting trees. Here I am selecting environment as one of the future usage of my trees. Users can refine their tree usage by further selecting the sub usage options. I will select soil conservation. Since the app is released in Kenya and Uganda, thus we have provided the tree species names in local languages as well. However, I will use English to see scientific names. Once the language is selected, app shows a list of species based on user's location and selection criteria. I can select one of these species, so I will select Cordia Africana. The app shows different details about Cordia Africana, like all the local names and their respective languages description, ecology, use, propagation, seed treatment, management, and other details. The app also has a citizen science module where users can participate in data collection by sending information about tree species. In order to use the citizen science module, users need to press the option take a photo. Once in the citizen science module, users need to provide information like photo location type, is it a restoration project, is it nursery, or it's a tree survey, location name, selected part of the tree being shown in the photo, remarks. It is important to note over here that the photo taken will be geotagged by user's current location. Once all information is provided, users can save this information for later upload. Yeah. So these were some of the tools that uh, CIFOR ICRAF developed to select suitable tree species for tree planting. We have been using them for many years in the field, but we still hope to improve them further with support from partners.